Another week, another study. Fungus versus aspirin. An aspirin a day keeps the candida biofilm at bay, studies say. Aspirin did not simply inhibit biofilm formation since it had little effect on adhesion but the effect could be reversed by adding prostaglandin E2. Aspirin also drastically reduced the viability of the biofilm to 1%, whereas other COX inhibitors were much less effective, with endomethacin having no effect at all. The cell surfaces of the yeast appeared wrinkled after exposure to aspirin, but not the other drugs, indicating that aspirin exerts damage in several different ways. Acetyl salicylic acid, aspirin, reduces damage to reconstituted human tissues infected with candida species by inhibiting extracellular fungal lipases. We hypothesized that ASA's protective effects were in part due to the inhibition of extracellular secreted lipase. ASA's lipase inhibition was previously demonstrated by the finding that oral administration of 3 grams of ASA for two days to healthy subjects significantly decreases plasma-free fatty acids and plasma post-heparin lipoprotein lipase activity. 26. Aspirin also inhibited the heightened lipase activity of lipoprotein lipase and hepatic lipase observed in smoking patients as measured by plasma-free fatty acids and free glycerol levels. 27. We found that a 1 mm concentration of ASA consistently inhibited the growth of C. albicans and C. paracelosis in a specific minimal medium supplemented with olive oil. In the examined lipid-rich environment, organisms must rely upon secreted extracellular lipases to digest the sole energy source available. Blocking this process with lipase inhibition stalled fungal growth. Effects of aspirin and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs on biofilms and planktonic cells of Candida albicans. Aspirin was active against growing and fully mature, 48H, biofilms, its effect was dose-related, and it produced significant inhibition, 20-80%, at pharmacological concentrations. At 1 mm, aspirin reduced the viability of biofilm organisms to 1.9% of that of controls. Surviving cells had a wrinkled appearance, as judged by scanning electron microscopy, and consisted of both yeasts and hyphae. Co-treatment with aspirin and azol drugs increases sensitivity of candida albicans in vitro. In our experiment under planktonic conditions, the MIC50 values of FCA, ITR, or VRC applied alone were 64 to 0.5 micrograms per milliliter, 32 to 0.0625 micrograms per milliliter, and 16 to 0.125 micrograms per milliliter, respectively. Whereas CO treatment with ACER decreased the values to 32 to 0.25 micrograms per milliliter, 8 to 0.0313 micrograms per milliliter and 8 to 0.0313 micrograms per milliliter, respectively. Potential antifungal targets against a candida biofilm based on an enzyme in the arachidonic acid cascade, a review. Studies have shown that cyclooxygenase, COX, inhibitors, such as aspirin, ibuprofen, and endomethacin, combined with fluconazole can significantly reduce candida adhesion and biofilm development and increase fluconazole susceptibility. The mic of fluconazole can be decreased from 64 to 2 micrograms per milliliter when used in combination with ibuprofen. Based on previous studies, 2 grams to 3 grams single bolus dose of aspirin can achieve 1 mm L concentrations in humans. The antifungal effect of aspirin is due to its structure, a hydroxybenzoic acid, and other structurally similar molecules also have antifungal effects. While structurally unrelated NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, naproxen, etc. do not OR were very weak. Ibuprofen inhibited biofilm formation to a lesser, but still significant, extent. Ibuprofen inhibited C. albicans germination by more than 70% and aspirin only by tilde 5%. All sources on next slide.